study with Marsha YouTube channel. Okay, my dear friends. So today I'm going to teach you all how to create a quiz by using Microsoft Teams. So by using these quizzes, you can create MCQ papers, essay type question papers, or else if you want to take a feedback from your students, you can create even a feedback report by using this. Then let's get started. First of all, go to Teams option and find the team where you need to create your quiz. Now click on this Assignments tab and give the option Create. So here, you should select the option Quiz. Now here, as we are going to create a new form or a new quiz, we are going to give this option new form. Click on this. And they will take you here into this window. So from here, you should select the option new quiz. Okay, now first of all, I am going to give a name for my quiz. So click on this title, right, and give the name. So here I will give it as ICT quiz. So here you can give a description. I will give it as number system quiz. Right, now we are going to add the questions. Okay, so you can click this button add new and they will ask you what kind of a question what type of a question you need okay so if you want to uh, add a mcq question here you can click the option choice so first of all i'm going to click on that so here you can add your question So now I'm going to add the options, that means my answers, right? So here you can see they are giving me options, okay? So option 1 will be your answer 1, right? Click there and type your answer, okay? So like that, for other options also you can fill your answers. So if you want to take a new option, that means a new answer, you can click on this cross add option so i will click it and add another answer so once you finish adding the answers by clicking this tick you can choose the correct answer for your question right so i will uh, choose option two as the correct answer okay so here below you can add points for your question okay so i will uh, Put it as two so sometimes uh, there can be more than one answer for a question so for those kind of questions you can uh, give this option multiple answers okay so if you want to make this question a compulsory one you can click on this required button and make it a compulsory question so then the child or the student should definitely give the answer for this question. Right, so here by clicking this add new option, you can give another question for your question paper. Now already we have finished the question number one. So I'm going to give my question two. So here you can choose again. If you want to give a MCQ question, give choice or else you can give the other option. So as a second step, uh, I will take this option text because I need to give a essay type question here. So here you should mention your question. After that, you should give your correct answer. So, so if the child gives this answer, they will automatically detect it as correct and they will add your points. So 
so here also I am going to give two points and from here you can select whether it's a long answer or not and here by clicking this one you can make it a required one that means a compulsory one or not okay so now I have finished adding the questions so now I'm going to click on this preview option so here you can see your final look of your quiz right so this is the way a student can see this quiz uh, when they are using their computer okay so the mobile version will look like this after you finish you can give this option back so you can use this themes option if you want to change the background of your quiz okay so i will uh, use this option here okay now you can see here once after you creating the quiz they will automatically save this quiz right okay now i will give you a quick tip to get the feedbacks so or to get the responses quickly of your students right so first of all go to your teams app and go to the teams uh, tab and open your group and here you can see these uh, tabs uh, like assignments a class notebook and here click on this cross and add another tab so from here you should click on this option forms so here we are going to attach our quiz as a tab so give the option add an existing form right so from here you should select the quiz you need so i'm going to give this quiz now give the option save now here you see they have add your quiz like a tab so you can easily find out the students who have done and finish the quiz so with my next video i will teach you all how to correct the questions and how to assign marks for all your students dear friends i hope this part is very clear for you so you can subscribe my channel and like this video and don't forget to click on the bell icon near the subscribe button so then as soon as i upload the video you will get the notification so uh, see you with another new video soon. Thank you very much.